Florida, 29. Alabama, 31. Florida, a 91% post-game win expectancy. Florida ran all over Alabama. I'm talking nonstop. Now, here's what's crazy. The first quarter, Alabama went out to a 21-3 lead and looked like they were just going to run away with this thing in the swamp. Like Bryce Young came out and was firing on all cylinders, looked fantastic. And then Florida settled in. Everything looked good. Florida ran 43 times for 245 yards. That is 5.7 a clip. Had four rushing touchdowns. Emory Jones looked pretty good passing the ball. Uh, He was not fantastic. He did have the one pick that ended up costing him a touchdown early. 18 out of 28, 195 yards. This was not what you are used to seeing from a uh, an Alabama football team. This was strange. So, give me your thoughts here. What uh what do you think happened here in the swamp? This is uh, you you said betting against home teams was was going to be something we regret this season. And it certainly looked like yep. it in this game. That that swamp crowd was bananas. So, here's one thing that I was a little annoyed about watching this game. I think CBS dumbed down the crowd lot noise bad oh, because yeah. watching it on TV, you did, you couldn't hear you couldn't hear it at all. When every ESPN game so far, even every Fox game so far, you can absolutely hear the crowd noise, and you can tell how it's affecting the game. You could not get an idea of how the crowd noise was actually working because CBS just dumbed it down. I thought that was a huge mistake by them. More and more as this contract finishes out and just limps to to a finish line, it it just pisses me off watching the game on their on their channel, on their network. This game went about as I expected Alabama and and Florida to go. I know you're not gonna like hearing this, Gary. Alabama Alabama should have lost this game. Alabama should have lost this game three times, and it's not oh, yeah. because of, of a lot of other things. Every big third down. Every big third down, Alabama got a massive call go their way every time. And and it's just going to always happen. It's infuriating for SEC fans to watch Alabama football because you're not only beating it to having to play a team that has all better players than you, not some better players than you. Every position on the field, Alabama has an advantage over you. In the coaching staff, every coach on the field, Alabama has a, has an advantage over you almost. And they get the benefit of the SEC propping them up. If they, every, everyone models what Nick Saban is doing and how consistent he has been over the decade of, of being there. And you know what? If they lose a game in the SEC, everybody should just be fired because nobody in the world should, should have that many advantages and ever lose a game, ever. So it's really, really frustrating um, to watch because Florida played their hearts out. Florida did everything they were supposed to do to win this game. And, and I know that you could nitpick a lot of calls that go certain ways, but on big third downs, two of those first three touchdowns would have been punts. But Bama, Bama got a call that wasn't a call, and it happens. And so it's just really frustrating. They couldn't stop the defense. I watched this game play against Miami, and I said Miami's trash. That Don't, don't think Alabama's the best team in the country. Miami's garbage. Then you beat the hell out of a high school team, and now you play a good team, and you should lose this game. If I was to rank, I don't do rankings before four weeks of, of data, but if I was to rank right now, I would have Alabama in the top five. I would have Alabama third. I would have Georgia and Ole Miss one and two. I think they're better than them. I just don't think Bama is the best team in the country, and I don't think it's it, – they're just not. Hey, you are not going to get disagreement out of me. They, there were there were not a lot of drives in this game. I will, I will say that. It, especially second half, Florida had three drives – and, and they scored a touchdown on each one. And it came down to, could Alabama score to keep up, right? Like, to to maintain right. their lead. And so we went 10-play, 75-yard touchdown drive for Florida to start the second half. Then you have a 13-play, 75-yard drive from Alabama uh, to go up 28-16. Florida comes back down and just runs it down their throat. 11 plays, 99 yards in, in a little over four minutes. And it cuts at 28-23. Alabama goes down, scores a field goal, had a uh, had a call go against them at the goal line, false start, you know, whatever. But that was a 14-play, 64-yard drive that took six minutes and bumped it up to eight, right? So the missed extra point is the the huge play here. Killer. Um, killer. Just absolute killer. Absolute killer. The interception in the first half, or in the first quarter, 
absolutely killed Emory Jones as well because that that handed them seven points. That that was a 38-yard field at that point. So then Alabama's forced to punt late, 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 you know, four seconds left or whatever. Uh, Florida had one shot to throw a Hail Mary, and Emory they Jones didn't even get it, it off. Yeah. when you, you can, That's even a Hail Mary situation because yeah. they were 75. Like, you can't throw the ball 80 yards. Like Yeah. No, it's, not, it's impossible. That's not a Hail Mary. You need to be at the 50-yard line to be a Hail Mary. So Alabama's offensive line cannot run block. They're not great at pass blocking. Their defensive line uh, cannot stop the run. The secondary is questionable. They they had some good plays, but I will tell you this. I, we're not going to talk about Ole Miss to Lane, but Lane Kiffin is going to hang a 50-burger in Tuscaloosa. And and yeah. it is he's got he's got two weeks to prepare. Yes, and, and yeah, I, I I think you're right. He is absolutely coming in there, guns blazing, and and they are going to be able to put up so many points. You know, Arch Manning is visiting Tuscaloosa that weekend. Yeah, that's not good for Alabama. <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, you, it's not. You should have had you should have had him come visit when when LSU comes in or or yeah. a bad football team comes in. Yes, Mississippi State. You don't don't Ole, don't bring him in for Ole Miss. Ole Miss is on fire right now but we we won't get into that thanks for listening to the winning cures everything podcast the website is winning cures everything.com and if you want to connect with us we're on twitter at gary wce at chris b giannini at winning cures or you can email us gary at winning cures everything.com or chris at winning cures everything.com subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe and we'll see you soon